I don't know, I guess cleaning up some missions. But uh, this episode, remember I was telling you about the power armor? Yeah. Okay, well I want to tell you about a free one you can get. Like, you know the one I have now, right? So you need to go here. Hold on, we can take that off because it's a little bit closer. Go to the National Park Visitor Center, right? Because Far Harbor is right here. Go right here. We're going to go straight through these trees. You come down the hill from, like, the house. But I have this power armor suit on right now. From the Vim Bottle Factory. The Vim Factory or whatever. And you're just going to walk. To this tree. Right here. Right, you see that tree? You're going to go here. And now. We're like right there on the road. And you're just going to walk up onto here and you end right there is a free T-51 suit and we're gonna get a hey. long fellow I can do that I hope so shooting up a truck full of good wine I hope someone hanged for this right See if old Longfeller can actually get in there. Well, by all means, he can. Not perfect. That looks amazing. I love that. He's got a star on his crotch. We don't. Ah! Hey, stay put. got BIM refresh and then this is just the regular BIM. Okay. So I don't know what we're gonna do this episode. I don't wanna do that. It's cash. Where's those kill switches? Mm. Okay, what's on land? I don't want to go into Acadia just yet. Cover the launch key. You know what? I guess we're just gonna go grab these marine armors real quick. So I'll meet you at the first one. Okay. Listen up. First. It's here are the chores for the month. I'll only make it one of these, so pass it around. And no, I will not be changing my mind again. So stop asking, Perron. Look, you're in charge of fishing, cleaning fish, and cooking fish. Just about anything to do with fish. That's your job, okay? Rowan, you're on building and repairs. Seems like some of the baseboards keep getting loose or torn up. I'm not sure what's getting there, but fix it. Perron, you got brush removal again. Gotta clear our line of sight. Yes, I have to work at night, you big baby. I don't care what you do. I pulled day guard duty again. We'll swap around at night, same as last month. Even you, Braun, don't even start whining. That's it. You don't like it, tough. 
This is how we get things done around here. Wait, is this thing still on? Damn it! Is it this button? No, of course not. I swear, I'm gonna throw this thing in the water! Huh! All right, no announcement. So listen. Whoa! Look! What are you doing in here? I'm making my next tape here. Boss, Ron's off in his bunk whippering about something. He says he saw something peering up at him from under the baseboards. Are you kidding me? He's a grown man, for God's sake. He's too old to be jumping at the boogie man. Uh, maybe, but he's refusing to do his chores. On top of that, Rowan keeps hiding in the water and jumping out at him. Here's that. <laughs> Go round up those chuckleheads, and I'll have a talk with them both. This place will fall apart without me, I swear. Oh, for crying out loud. This thing is still a court. How the hell do you make this thing stop? Ah, uh, big red button. Mark, stop recording. I knew that. Husky, leader of the Husky family, rightful owner of the land previously known as Haddock Cove. These here tapes are mine. We've torn enough scrap wood and metal from the nearby houses to build an outpost on the water. Really make a go of it here. We built this thing big and tall enough. We'll be able to see patents coming from a good distance off. No one will be able to catch us without our pants down. Bray Husky, signing off. Shit, Luke, how the hell do you turn this thing off? There's a million buttons on this stupid thing. Screw it, I'm just gonna unplug it. Well, there's Brawling. with you. Dead. All dead. Luke got pinched right now. 
and I saw Rowan screaming while another one pulled him under. His eyes. Jesus, his eyes. I went to get broad and found some huge fish and thing eating what was left of him. He caught me right across my gut before I could get a shot off. Jeez, oh, this place was impenetrable. We could see anyone coming for miles. Oh, underwater goddamn fish monsters. Oh, I just hope. Oh, God, no. Oh, it found me. No, no. No, you get there. Get away from me. Holy shit, how tall is this thing? No such thing as junk, as far as I'm concerned. Everything's gotta use. I guess I'll meet y'all people back when this thing is dead and I get the I'll let you you know what I'll just see you guys in a second all right let's uh guess we can just dive straight down right
Hauling all that gear around is just going to slow you down. <sighs> no! I need to upgrade my weight carriage. What is something I can drop? I need to run back to the house. So I'll probably do that. I'll meet you people back at the next place. I'm going to make a really quick trip back to the house. And, uh, see you then. Oh, this, where are you, bud? Honka? Buddy? There you go. Um, I left it at home because I don't need it. I don't really have good stuff set up for my power armor. I'm going to try to build a class for that. Not a class, but you know what I mean get something set up for it. I guess I figure I was like, well, you know, screw it, might as well, right? We're already this close. Consider the consequences life taken cannot be given back. It's a nice little area, not gonna lie. Alright, now we're gonna run all the way back to pick up some more of that marine armor. I guess we need to do a lot of confronting in this episode. I suppose we can just Where is this thing at? It's probably like a good distance away, let's be real. Oh no, it's right here. how much of this wet suit we got.
Although I will say those do look pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, so then what's the next step? I guess the last one right here. So I'll see you people there. We got a distance to swim there, don't we? Let's go ahead and see. I guess it's good. <sighs> oh, let's get on this rock. There we go. Alright. That's quite a heavy suit. These don't weigh nothing. These on the other hand. We a lot. We need to do a light build on them. But I guess we'll see how they look. Hold on. Now that's what I'm talking about. Just look at it, man. Just look at it. I wonder if you can stay under here for longer. <gasps> no. Alright. So, what's next left in the agenda? I guess let's go. Oh, fuck it, let's go here. Meet y'all there. This is going to be a very rough place. I'm gonna try to get in and out of here quickly. With what time we do have left. Also, I don't know what missions are gonna do what for uh, the trophies and shit. Cause I'm trying to like get 100% on every single you know, DLC and the main game itself. Which I guess I might have to like work super hard on that because I can't even get the damn thing to get like to 90 something percent. If I can get it to like 90 I'll be happy. But I don't know. I'll play with some settlements. Where's that super? Your own 
is precisely why you need to die. Okay, well that was a rough shot. Shit, are we fucking up over here? Is it with all these overlords, man?
let's head in. That was wild. I might kill all these creatures first, and then I'll catch back up with you for the storyline and stuff. But let's see how time rolls, because, yeah. Oh. Had to suck, didn't you? And here I was thinking this might be a challenge. Okay, you know what? We're gonna use the deliver. <laughs> Go ahead and get him down to uh, his mutation. What's up, bud? Yeah, there's a lot of enemies in here. I will meet you people back when they are all taken care of. See you then. Just go ahead and... Franny, it's me. I I'm at the Grand. In our old suite. 485130. That's the key to the safe room they installed in case of case of the bombs. Franny, I need you to come quick. I I don't know when they'll be coming for me, so I prepped the boat in case we need to make a rapid exit. But I, I, I can't be a part of this. Nuclear war? I, I won't do it. And I'm not going to let anyone else use my submarine to blow up the damn world. Please, Franny. I need you here. If this is the end, let's spend it together. Franny was here. It looks like Franny and oh boy shot at themselves or like they were doing defensive measures. Who knows? But these are the undamaged cigarettes. These are the most pristine things I've ever seen. Like the cleanest bathroom. Like that's just awesome. There's a terminal in here. 
Ah, fuck it. We'll see what this has to do. Before your visit, um, uh, you're using auxiliary power and additional fees are charged during the key tracker of your state. Don't forget your in room security hollow tape when you go. Uh, contact front desk. View bill. Guest name. Okay, lo length of stay. In stay max exceeded. Initial stay max exceeded. My bad. Holy shit! Daily rate: hundred eighteen thousand seven hundred sixty-four and thirty-two cents a day, including taxes and fees. What the shit are they running? Hundred thousand dollars to stay there a day. Nah. And then the bill is exceeded. Let's play the tape. Hey! Hands where I can see them. Now, where is the key? Franny, put the gun down! What exactly do you think you're going to accomplish? My job. You're going to give me that key, and I'm going to get paid. Paid? The, the world's over! Are you really- Ah! Ah! Uh. Scream all you want, Arnie. Everyone's been evacuated. It's just you and me. Run in hell! Ah. We can do this all day, Arnie. Fine. What the hell's it matter? It's on the boat. Fringe Cove docks. Combinations 44, 6, 75, 12. Now, was that so hard? So long, Captain. Now, where the hell's the release to this door? Sorry, Franny. You're stuck with me. 10 a.m. We're gonna take that tape. Ching. Nice. Perfect. Shut, Franny. Okay, so where do we gotta go now? Okay, I mean, I suppose I could just run over there. Alright, see so y'all people there. That thing looks wicked. Okay. Let's go ahead and mark this place real quick. Fringe Cove docks. Alright, and then let's go... I guess we need to go talk to Dima because holy shite. Let's go talk to Demo. He's got a lot to talk about. She saw you entering and leaving the nucleus. So, what was in my memory banks? Are we closer to resolving the conflict on this island peacefully? Your memories led me to a gravesite. You killed Captain Avery and replaced her with a synth. So you could control Far Harbor. What? That's impossible. Let me see what you found. I... I did it. I killed a woman from Far Harbor and replaced her. 
I stripped a synth's identity from her and made her an agent. Okay. Let's be practical. How do we proceed from here? You're right. We have to focus on what has to be done now. So you're just going to sweep it all under the rug, then, huh? That's cowardly, and it's shameful. I'm... starting to see things more clearly. We have to keep this secret from Far Harbor. If they knew I had done this, they wouldn't destroy just me. They'd come after Acadia, and then without us, the fog condensers will eventually fall into disrepair. Everyone will die. I have an idea. There's still a way we can bring peace. But the fact that I've replaced a human with a synth must remain hidden. So you did all of that on your own? No one else in Acadia is involved? What I've done goes against all of our ideals. I even hid it from myself. So, no, there can't be anyone else. Hmm. See, I don't really like synths, though. I'm telling Far Harbor. Harbor has a right to the truth. You have to do what you feel is right. But think about the consequences carefully before you act. Say, Cap, can we talk for a minute? All right, let's talk. I appreciate it, Captain. At my age, any chance to make a new friend is, well, it ain't something I'd expect to happen much. Long time ago, when I was a young man, I had a sweetheart. Anna was her name. And we planned to get married, raise a family and all that. Well, we had a place out in the fog we used to meet so we could be alone. Damn children of Adam jumped us. They took her and left me for dead. Took two months to recover from my injuries. By then, it was too late. They'd warped her mind and turned her into their ways. It was only later I learned she was carrying our child. Of course, the baby didn't stand a chance with all that radiation. Adam's will, she called it. Anyway, she died a few years later. Trappers got her. Or so them lunatics said. I guess that was Adam's will, too. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Yeah. Well, we all got our scars, right? Yep. Truth is, what happened to Hannah was her choice. And so be it. But I never got to be a father. And that's what I regret. If I had a son or daughter, well... I'd have someone to pass on all my learning to. But you, you're the first person I've met that's worth teaching what I've got to teach. I ain't good with telling people that I'm grateful. But you've given this old hunter a sense of purpose and a reason for living. <sighs> that's something I ain't had for a long time. Means a lot. Thanks, Longfellow. It means a lot to me that you think so. Well. That was all I had to say. I appreciate you hearing me out. Hunter's wisdom. Perfect. Heads up. Hmm? Always happy to help you out. Your thoughts? I ain't had many friends in my time, Captain. But I'm glad to count you among them. Oh, nothing. Back to it, then. Yep. Come here, you shithead. Please, don't share what we talked about before. Dima. No one stormed the gate yet. Have you reconsidered handing over the evidence of Avery's replacement? Or did you need something else? One of your memories was about a kill switch you installed to shut down power to Far Harbor and let the fog take them. It's all here in this holotape. Let me s I remember. I was afraid that Far Harbor might turn against us. See us as too different for their precious island. So I made a contingency plan. Mass 
Murder. I hid the kill switch code because I couldn't stomach the thought of actually using it. Then I hid the memory. Because I couldn't even stand knowing I made it. What have I done? If the children of Adam were to ever get a hold of that code, they would destroy Far Harbor. Mm -hmm. take Don't Far worry, Harbor. Demon. I already have the code. Far Harbor is safe. Good. Now we just need to find some way to end this conflict. Have you found anything else in my memories? I have a memory of yours about a nuclear launch key. You knew how to detonate the sub in the nucleus all along. Give me a moment. I need to... remember for myself. So... I chose to forget the launch key even existed. Poor Confessor Martin. Was I lying to him all that time? The submarine is rusted into the dry dock. The only target that missile is ever going to hit is the base itself. The nucleus. Where the children of Adam live. We have to keep that key out of the wrong hands. The nucleus has innocent people living there among the zealots threatening Far Harbor. Honestly, I don't like the nucleus. Is the Nucleus even worth saving? Don't judge them by what Confessor Tectus has done. He's but I don't used like their the fears and Adam. hatred to turn them into a weapon against Far Harbor. But there's still time to turn them away from that. That key nucleus is the be answer, destroyed. We should destroy the Nucleus. You're serious? How would that solve anything? Um... The children of Adam believe in division. Deep down, nuclear destruction is what they want. They just need to be convinced. Nuclear genocide is not acceptable. No matter the circumstances, we have to find another way. My memories. Have you found anything else? We still need to discuss what you did in Far Harbor. I can't undo what's done. But for the sake of my people, and those in Far Harbor, we need to bury that evidence. I know peace can still be achieved. Turn your Make your case to the people of Far Harbor, Dima. Let them decide. And if their judgment is to destroy Acadia, the synths I've gathered here are innocent. I'm responsible for them being here. You really think Far Harbor will destroy Acadia if they find out? They were willing to kill the children of Atom for far less. God dang. You're still a murderer. I mean, yeah, true. You did kill Captain Avery. You said you wanted human and synth kind to be equal. Well, now you have to prove it. Tell them the truth. Trust that they'll do the right thing. You're... You're right. I... We... Can't be above any other living being. When something terrible is done, there have to be repercussions. I'll go. The people of Far Harbor will have to decide what to do with me. And I will have to hope Acadia will be spared. Wait, what? You... You can't! Dima, if you go down there, you're not coming back up. My dear Faraday, you know there is no other option. Dima, there are always options. Don't do this. Don't... Don't leave. If atoning for my actions can keep you safe, well, I care for you all too much to do anything else. Dima, please. Be strong, Faraday. It will be all right. With Dima gone... I'm not even sure what the point of all this is anymore. I'm gambling the lives of my people. That your trust in Far Harbor is not misplaced. So I suppose we'll go ahead and meet old stinky ass down there. Let's get it. My long walk is over. 
What's this about? People of Far Harbor, you know me. We have lived peacefully together for years. We have come to trust each other in our way. But I've betrayed that trust, and I've kept the truth from all of you. Early on, during Acadia's founding, I murdered one of your own. I replaced them with one of mine. What? Who? The identity of my agent must remain hidden. They are as much a victim in this as anyone. They will do you no further harm. I am the only one to blame. Dima's actions were deeply misguided, but he did them for the greater good. I know that's no comfort to the person whose life I took. I wanted to prove that humanity and synth could coexist, that we did not have to fear each other. But I went too far. I see that now. I only ask that you judge me and not what we built together. Allow the peace between Acadia and Far Harbor to last beyond this. Peace? You call murdering one of ours peace? I say we end this bastard and then burn his whole goddamn Acadia to the ground! Alan, enough! Dima will pay for his crime, but not Acadia. This path you want leads to murder, cold-blooded murder. We leave them be. We'll never know if they're killing and replacing us one by one. No. We kill every last one of them just to be sure. Who's with me? Every time you open your damn mouth, Alan, the whole town suffers. Shut up. What? You... I ought to... <laughs> Can't tell you how many times I've told him the same thing. Don't listen to the Mainlander. My brother knows what we've got to do. See the hull? That's thanks to the Mainlander. A true friend of the harbor. You going to listen to Alan's hate-mongering? You even remember who did the captain's dance? Mainlander cleared my farm. Avenged my family. More than the rest of you ever did for me. What's Alan really ever done? Cause trouble. Remember who cleared the lumber mill? Remember who's given up? Boy steered us right. What? The mainlander took away my home. Drug me here. Listen to Alan. Enough. I'll back down. Alan, the harbor's spoken. So this ends here, Dima. Murder's a serious crime. There's only the one punishment for it. If you have any last words, now's the time. I'm sorry. Mitch. Every homestead, town, and people has a dark side. But if we're ever to know peace, we don't let the worst else. of us define us. So justice has been done. And I expect everyone to respect the peace between us and Acadia. Well, Stay away. One I got one last idea. It's crazier than a box of rabbit. That hasn't stopped you before. Hull's got plenty of stopping power now. But if a Mire Lurk Queen went for a frontal assault... I'd like to help if I can. I had a feeling I could count on you. Thicker walls can beat the whole mass, velocity, force issue. But the bigger problem is acid. Only thing I've ever seen survive a queen's acid are other Meyer Lurks. The Meyer Lurks on our islands have carapaces that are extra tough. So you gather up a bunch of the carapaces and lug them back here. Then I'll reinforce the town as best as I'm able. Far Harbor really owes you for all this. Yes and no. It's my dock people are squatting on. So I got a personal stake in it. Good luck. All right. Poor Dima. So we're getting close to the end of Bar Harbor. Bertha. All of us in the dreads owe you. Hi. Sorry. If the fog doesn't get us, the storms will. True that. What's up, motherfucker? All right. So let's see what missions there are to complete. Ooh. 
that much so I suppose that will be the end of this episode if you guys enjoyed let me know down in the comment section below with a like or a dislike Alan or not just like the guns if you got the caps I'll okay, take a look still wants don't to try see. anything so yeah uh I don't appreciate dislikes but I will say if you give me a constructive criticism in the comments with it then it's okay but uh yeah have a wonderful day.